Hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video so in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the new rarity called Forsaken so here's a logo of what it actually looks like we're gonna dig into it more later on throughout today's video we're gonna talk about it every info that we have so far every resource we're gonna go ahead and use them so if you are new to my channel guys go ahead and hit that red subscribe button it's down there also if you haven't dropped a like already guys go ahead and do so show some support but other than that guys let's go ahead and get started so today monster legends community on their facebook page they posted this picture right here shown on the screen so they said some birds are not meant to be caged they're designed to become heroes check wild bird in the hero's faith maze or in more detail in our form and then they give a link so here's a picture of what the monster actually looks like that is a monster and then it's called wild bird and you guys could see the forsaken element right next to wild bird's name so let's take a look at their this monster skills real quick and then we're gonna dig in more of course but let's just talk about the skills real quick okay so the first skill it deals heavy special damage to all enemies and applies shock and sunburn to all enemies now keep in mind these four skills are basically i guess the best ones i guess you could say uh or the four best and then the next one is uh, it actually applies or it, it's a moderate special damage one enemy it gives one extra turn to itself applies evasion to itself and guard down to all enemies okay so in my opinion I think this is actually a pretty good skill because first of all you're gonna do some damage to the enemy then you're gonna get that extra turn right extra turn transfer hopefully you're not going up against any anticipation type of monsters like monsters with anticipation trait so once you do that you uh, get the extra turn you have evasion for yourself I hope that evasion is two turns now I'm not sure how many turns that is because they didn't really tell us anything so you get that extra turn and then you have guard down on, on all of the enemies once you have guard down you could just literally use any attacks and you'll be all fine because it's gonna always work so that's actually pretty good because right after you use that the next skill that I'm gonna talk about applies mega stun so the next one it says deals very heavy thunder damage to one enemy and then applies mega stun to one enemy and then of course there's a cooldown but if you use that skill that I was talking about the Tammy's betrayal if you use that you get that extra turn transfer you could use the uh, next skill that applies mega stun to one of the enemies so it's actually pretty good now let's head over to the last one it's called you appear to be dying and it's it removes all the negative side effects from itself applies pierce to itself deals insane thunder damage to one enemy now that's actually pretty good you could also use that like right after you get the extra turn transfer from that second skill you could use that to remove all the negative side effects first of all if you have anything you get the pierce to yourself and then you do insane thunder damage so you could either use the insane thunder damage one or you could go for the mega stun and yeah it's up to you basically but also keep in mind that first skill is actually one of the best as well because if you get the extra turn you could you know with that extra turn basically you could use that first skill that i reviewed which does uh heavy special damage to all enemies and then it does like uh sunburn and it's actually pretty good now let's take a look at the monster's skin like what he actually looks like so definitely has cool wings i like that the armor looks pretty awesome as well and then there are evolving traits so it looks like this zero rank zero basically you're just gonna have the um that one hardened trait so you're gonna have the hardened trait and then after that rank one there is i believe self pierce i'm pretty sure that is what it's called so you you know how that one of the skills that applies the self pierce to himself so basically you're gonna have that as always i guess but uh the third one you're gonna have i believe it is oh it is stun so first it is of course you know the pierce because um but before hardened so rank zero it's hardened uh rank one it is the pierce and then the third one is stun and then the fifth rank there's no fourth but there is if the fifth one the fifth one actually just uh has the i think positive status effect uh type of trait so you guys could see it though so it's in the screen <laughs> 
Uh, you guys know more than me, so you guys know what I'm talking. You know, probably know, I guess already. But uh, let me know what you guys think about this monster, the wild bird, because I absolutely like him. I, I mean, this is the first one if you think about it, though, because after this, there could be many more uh, for forsaken monsters. Like I'm talking about the rarity. They could actually release a bunch more. So this is just for the current maze that's coming out very soon. So definitely a pretty good monster. We'll have to see some um, gameplays in game. See how it actually goes. I wish Social Point could have given me an access to, uh, you know, use the monster early. Like Armor Gaming does. But, you know, it's whatever. So real quick, there will be uh, a link in the description where you could actually check out the blog for yourself where it has a bunch of information basically i guess everything that you need it is in there you guys can check it out for yourself you could literally check out every single one of his skill including his special skill as well so you could do that you could also read the storyline um how it actually happened you know all of those stuff and uh it says wild bird is a thunder pierce attacker and the first representative of the new of, of a new collection of monsters the forsaken so that is basically the new rarity we're talking about guys uh but it says he has high damage attacks along with a pierce status effect which he gains thanks to his status caster trait so he has that's one of his traits so he can bypass protective skills uh his moves include tortures and mega stuns and he can also protect himself with evasion and damage mirror so he could also do damage mirror not just evasion guys so that's actually pretty awesome. His trade is hardened at rank zero, gains status caster and peers at rank one. Okay, so that's a, so status caster with peers. Okay, I thought it was just peers, but um, adds area stun immunity at rank three, and at rank five he protects his positive status effects. So that's what it was. So rank five he actually protects his positive status effects. That's actually pretty good. That is actually one of the best. So rank five that is, that's what it is, guys. But um. Other than that, there are more skills here. So tier 1, we're not going to talk about it. But tier 2, it says, applies damage boost to itself, applies precision to itself, applies damage mirror to itself, requires cooldown. So there are three things there. That's actually really cool. But uh, the next one, it's called the Flesh Curtains. And it's a very heavy special damage to one enemy. Applies shock to one enemy and applies um, sunburn to one enemy. Requires cooldown. And then we're going to get more into like the best stuff here. So... This one right here is actually pretty cool too because it applies thunder weaknesses to all of the enemies and then it gives one extra turn to itself and then there is uh, it also applies peers to itself. So he gets peers, he get the extra turn and then there are also um, you know thunder weaknesses against the enemies. So that's actually pretty good in my opinion. Alright so at level 100 his life is 38,906, power is 3,729, and speed is 3,509. So, we already talked about the trade, so let's move on. Relics, sword, and essence, and of course, books. It is family, superheroes, and wing. So that is basically pretty much it for this monster. Let me know how you guys like this. Uh, I guess this was sort of an analysis as well, because we did review the skills, everything. Um, this monster will be available like I said, in a maze very soon. So make sure to stay active, I guess. Uh, but let me know what you guys actually think about this, okay? Give me your honest opinion. Just let me know in the comments what you actually think about this. So this video was short, but um, I just wanted to give you guys some some of the info that I know of. Or, um, yeah. So if you guys want to check it out for yourself, there will be a link in the description. Check it out for yourself. But other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for joining in today. You know, for watching this video. But other than that, guys, I'll see you all on the next one. Peace out.